Day number 15, Picnic Table Talk. Andrew Bacone from Horse Racing Nation. Kevin Strom, good to have you back on the table. So we have a beautiful Wednesday here, starting off with the jumps race, which is our highlight race today. We're gonna to take a pass on that one. Um, I'm not much of a jumps handicapper, I don't know about you. Uh, only thing I always play is the lightest horse possible, the lightest jockey possible on that weight plate. So we'll take a look today as our highlight race. Race number seven, going one mile out of that Wilson chute, that newly constructed chute. Um, it's one and a half turns, we'll call it. I think this is an interesting race today. There's two opportunities here. I think one is the play against, and one is to take a look at these jockey moves here. So let's start taking a look at this field. We have <clears throat> going one mile, a three-year-old's $100,000 purse on the dirt course. We have a nice little field here of six. I didn't see any scratches come in yet for it, so I'm assuming we're still at six. Where did you end up here, Kevin? Yeah, so it's not too big of a field. You know, there's really no feature of the day, so why not make a race and go with it? So this race might be single in the six. A uh, couple reasons for that. You know, the three, uh, Tiergen with Irad Ortiz Jr. up. You know, it's no secret, Irad's leading Irad right now. He's lights out. Um, that horse is a little bit too short in the morning line for me. Um, and let's talk about the six for a second. Uh, I, I really like this spot for the six. Um, the last ride out, you know, Trevor McCarthy was up. The horse didn't run very well. Um, you know, can be attributed to a variety of factors. But what I really like is that Dylan Davis is getting back in this horse. Um, other than Luis Saez and, and, and Irad Ortiz Jr., Dylan is seeing the dirt very, very well right now. Um, and he has all meet, you know, his wins. I think all of his wins have come on the dirt so far. Um, so he's he's, a val he's bringing value to, to horses, you know, when he gets up on these dirt. And, you know, out of the shoot, the inside post may be a little nervous yet, so because we haven't seen so many races out of that, so we're still tentative on how that's playing. Um, so I like the six here. Dylan was up uh, for two out of the last three starts with the six. And if you look at the numbers of when Dylan was up, you know, both wins, the horse runs really well. So he, he knows something about this horse, so I'm thinking he can get that trip again today. Uh, the horse looks really good figure-wise. Um, you know, pay, it's also a pace play. So I, I feel very confident in that six today, and, and we'll use that to be a short price outright. So talk to me a little bit about playing against. I know that you're a big player of playing against heavy favorites in shorter fields. Opportunity like this, is this a single in your pick five, pick six? Are you also going to be playing vertically with this? So what I'll do is I'll usually single this in all my horizontals. And then I'll look at the probables, right? So with a horse like the six, who's second option in the morning line, uh, if I'm going to put the six over the three in, a, in an exacta, I'm going to want, you know, 12 to one or, or so. Um, and I don't think we're going to get that because I think these two horses are going to be the two favorites. So we'll see um, if the opportunity arises to play vertically, you know, look at those probables. You obviously can't see probables for a trifecta, but if you have a, a thought on, you know, speed, maybe hanging on and sticking in third, you know, you can key that, that six horse on top. Um, but you know, let the exact race come to you. Look at the probables and, you know, see what it's offering. Don't show yourself. Um, so that's the way I'm going to play this race. I like what you're looking at with the six here. I also want to make a note on the, this five horse here. Um, just horses breaking out of this Wilson gate. It's either they've wired or they've come from way out of it. It hasn't been really a stalking position. Um, it seems like that horses either get out there and, and there's a little traffic behind them or horses sit way back and they make that one big run. I think this five is also an interesting horse here at 10 to 1. Making that cut back from 1 in the 16th, 1 in the 8th, coming back to that one mile area. Um, it's going to be the speed of the speed of the field here. Um, it does have the time form figures to get out in front and keep running. The only concern is uh, class wise, I think this horse is uh, this horse is going to be a little bit up against it. Um, gets Jose Gomez here, so that weight break, so opportunity for that cutback, a little less weight on it, possibility for it to carry. Um, I'm going to be using your six as well, but I'm going to be playing some sort of vertical, whether it be an exacta or a trifecta with that six over five over probably the three and maybe the one here. Day 15, picnic table talk here in the backyard as fans come in under the bee, underneath the big trees. You can find us each morning, also on Saratoga Morning Report. We'll have backstretch interviews with trainers, jockeys, grooms, agents alike. You also can follow us on Horse Racing Nation twi and Twitter and Instagram at horse underscore racing underscore nation for interviews throughout the day with trainers, jockeys, and alike. We'll see you guys tomorrow, and good luck with your bets.